Let's talk about trims for a moment. So you're going to hear the term trim thrown around often, and I want to talk about what a trim actually is and what you can do with it. So let me go ahead and cut up a handful of these clips and put them back to back. So I'm going to grab the razor tool and make a couple of little cuts here. Let's just do this one. That little camera move is nice. I'm going to move this clip to the very back of my timeline. I'm going to grab something from this shot right here. Maybe right here is really good. Kind of move forward in time. That's great. Make a cut right there. Move this one to the back of my timeline. Just like that. Let's come on over here. I like this shot too. I think right here is really good. Some of that. Really nice. Move that to the back of my timeline. And since we're talking about moving things really quick, I'm just going to show you a little trick. I'm going to make a cut right here. I like that camera move. That's really cool. Make a cut. And I'm going to actually just do Command X or Edit Cut. Go to the back of my timeline. Command V or Edit Paste. And there we go. Puts it back there much quicker. So what I have here is a sequence with these four clips back to back. And a trim is this thing this thing in between the two clips, or the connection point between two clips. On the left side of the trim is this shot, and on the right side of the trim is this shot. These are known as the A side and the B side. Trims are really interesting because they control a lot of how your timeline actually functions. So if I were to take a trim and I can just put my mouse over it, you see a little red icon here. And I were to grab this red icon and drag to the left, that's moving the trim. So I have essentially cut the back of this shot. What I've basically done is come over here with the razor tool, made a cut, selected this piece, and removed it. And I made this little gap. And the same thing happens if I were to just undo that by simply grabbing the trim and dragging it this way. Virtually the exact same thing. Now here's the thing, that's really simple because I can take this trim over here and I can close it up a little bit then I can take this one over here and I can move it over. So basically I wanted less of this shot on the left and more of this shot on the right. So let me show you what that kind of looks like. Let's just use these shots for example. So I've got this shot of me sitting here on the couch and it cuts to this shot of me working on the computer. But I actually don't like my little uh, movement here with my arms and so I want to use less of that. So I'm going to get rid of some of this and I'm going to add more of the computer instead. Now when I play it, so I've got nothing with me flapping my arms around and more of this computer screenshot. But the problem with that whole process is it requires me to do multiple things. Drag this one to the left, drag this one to the left, move this around, and then play it back. So I've had to move the mouse quite a lot. There's actually a faster way to do that. I'm going to undo what I just did. So this is where the trim used to be. And what I can do is I can hold command. When I put my mouse over the trim, the icon changes shape. So now it's got those two little arrows on both sides. If I were to grab the trim and drag it to the left and then release it, now what I've effectively done is the exact same thing but in one movement. Let me show you what this trim is actually doing as I move it around. I'm going to undo what I just did. I'm going to hold command. I'm going to select the trim. I'm going to start moving it left. Okay, so you can see here in the program monitor that on the left side, I have a little box indicating the shot on the left side or the A side of the trim. And on the right box, I have a representation of the first frame of the shot on the B side or the right side of the trim. And as I move the trim to the left here, I can see what I'm removing that's on the left side. And I can see on the right side what I'm adding. So I'm going to remove this little arm movement. Removing it. Great. So right there is where I want to have the shot end. And you can see on the right side what I've added in. It's a bunch of my hands just messing around with the computer. And there we go. We moved the trim. Hey there. For tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics, like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.